how to share google forms responses to google chat automatically so in this video i am going to connect to google forms and google chat in such a way that every time a form is submitted the same form response will be shared automatically into your google chat space yes it is possible and i am going to do that with the help of an automation software if you also want to set this automation for yourself come with me and i will show you the whole process step by step so i have created this job application form into the google forms and i want as soon as someone is going to apply for the job the details for the same should be received into my google chat application basically i have created this pably marketing team space i would like to receive all the form submission data here okay and i am going to do that with the help of pably connect it is an amazing integration and automation software via which you can easily connect to multiple applications and automate your task and you can also reach here by typing pably.com slash connect i will also attach this link into my description box now if you are a new user of pably connect you will have to sign up for free but i am already an existing user of pably connect so that is why i am clicking on signing and in the free account you will also get free task every month in your account in order to test these kinds of amazing automation well i have already reached to the dashboard of pably connect and once you will reach here you will have to click on this blue button that is create workflow and simply provide a random name to your workflow to your automation so i am going to provide the name as share google forms responses to google chat automatically now click on create and then you will find two boxes in front of you okay so these are actually trigger and action so trigger means when this happens action means do this so whenever this happens do this understand with an example also whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application let's say send an email via gmail mail application and here according to our use case whenever the form is submitted into google forms application automatically receive the same form response into google chat application okay so this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation and here i am building an automation in between google forms and google chat so that is why i have selected the google forms as the first application and i want as soon as a new response is received the data should be collected first into the pably connect okay and here you can see it has provided me a webhook url and few set of instructions okay so the idea here is i am going to connect my google forms which i have created with the pably connect and i am going to do that with the help of spreadsheet which is associated with this particular form okay so let me first open that spreadsheet okay all right so i have opened that spreadsheet okay and now i am going to copy this webhook url and then i'll be opening this sheet and here you will have to click on extension section okay i hope everything is visible to you all right let me do the correct formatting for this spreadsheet and i think now it is visible to you okay so click on extension click on add on and here click on get add ons and search for the pably connect webhooks add on here all right so i'm searching for the pably connect to webhooks add on and the add on will be visible here you will have to install this add on firstly okay click on continue and here i would like to give you a small tip that whenever you are working with the google sheets and pably connect make sure multiple gmail accounts should not be logged in into the same tab i repeat either you will have to work into the incognito window or the multiple gmail accounts should not be logged in at the same time let me open that webhooks add on once again click on get add ons and let me search for the pably connect webhooks add on once again okay and here you can see the add on has been installed successfully after the installation you will have to click on extension and you will find your add ons here exactly click on this initial setup and now it will ask you the webhook url so go back to pably connect copy this webhook url and paste the very same webhook url here now it will ask you for the trigger column okay so before i do any settings firstly i am going to submit this particular form right in front of you okay so let me view this form and going to submit this form with some dummy details so first name and last name so assume that the name of the customer is dummy and the username the last name is dummy user okay and the email address of the person is admin@pablitutes.com okay 
after that i am going to provide a dummy phone number as a dummy candidate only so i have provided a 10 digit number just a dummy number which position are you interested in so assume that this candidate is interested in this digital marketing position okay now i'll be clicking on submit and you will see the same response will be firstly collected into this spreadsheet now i am going to open this add on once again clicking on initial setup then copy this webbook url and then i am going to paste the webbook URL once again and this time as a trigger column I am going to provide this E as a value because you can read the instructions the trigger column will be a final data column on which if the data is added the whole of that row data will be sent to the web URL so basically it is asking to specify a column name basically on the filling of which you want this automation should trigger so I want that every time the data is filled up to E column this automation should trigger so I have provided the same simply click on send test and this is how you will be able to see that the same data will be sent to the Pabli Connect. Here you can see the tested data sent successfully. Now let me go back to Pabli Connect and check for the same data and here you can see the same response has been received. Let me show you the details one by one. Here you can see which position are you interested in. So the person was interested in this digital marketing position. Here we have the same trigger column. We even have the date and time and let us check for other details basically the candidates details. So here we have the phone number, the name and the email address. So the presence of data clearly shows that this automation is working fine or not basically the first step of our automation is working absolutely fine now what will happen every time someone is going to fill this form the data will be captured via Pabli connect firstly but before that you will have to enable one important settings okay so firstly click on submit and simply close this dialog box okay the setup configured successfully go to your extension section and here you will find an option of send on event you will have to enable Enable this option and after that what will happen every time the new data will be arrived here the same data will be sent to the Pabli connect and this is how this automation is going to take place now moving further here as a next application I am going to choose Google chat since I want to send the same data into the Google chat application all right so I have selected the same now into the action event since I want to create basically I want to send a message so that is why I'll go with this particular action event now just like we have connected google forms with pabli connect i am also going to connect to google chat with pabli connect and since i am already logged in into my gmail account it has connected immediately the very first thing it is asking for the chat webbook url okay so firstly you will have to go back to your chat and whatever the chat space you have created click on this arrow button you will find an option of manage webbooks click on that and here i am going to delete this existing webbook URL so that I can show you the things from the sketch so firstly you will have to provide a random name so I'm providing the name as connection of chat okay simply provide a random name now it will ask you for the avatar url so from where you can get this url go back to public connect and here firstly read the instruction and visit this documentation which has clearly shown the chat webbook url step basically from where you can get this chat webbook url it has been mentioned here okay and now i will show you the avatar url basically for avatar url you will have to and enter this i'm sorry for that you'll have to enter this so I'm going to copy this avatar URL and then I'll be pasting the same into the public connect not into the public connect but into my chat space okay and make sure you also delete this ending full stop all right so click on connect and this is how you can get your webbook URL simply click on this copy icon come back to public connect and provide the chat webbook URL here exactly okay now the last thing is you will have to compose your message which you would like to share on your Google chat space here exactly well I have already created a very nice message I'm going to copy the same and then I'll be pasting the same all right and here exactly firstly I am going to do the formatting basically let me correct the formatting okay 
new candidate has recently applied for the job by filling out the form here are the details of the candidate firstly i am going to provide the name so from where i am going to share these details basically the name email phone and position applied so i have just received the data via google forms which i don't need to even copy and paste i am going to map it and mapping is very simple inside pabli connect simply click on this particular field and you will find the above data here in the drop down and from here exactly i am going to map the details one by one all right so i have mapped the name of the person well the name has been mapped at the incorrect place so let me correct it okay so here exactly i am going to map the name again search for the name all right it was something like dummy user all right again it has mapped on the incorrect place i'll have to place my cursor at the correct place okay make sure you place your cursor at the correct place all right finally it has mapped at the correct place again place the cursor exactly here then i am going to map the email address all right so i have mapped the email address as well again place your cursor here and then i am going to search for the number all right so i have mapped the number as well the last thing i am going to map is the position all right so i have composed a very nice message which you can see finally i am going to click on this button save and send test request and you will see how the same message will be arrived automatically hello a new candidate has recently applied all right i'm sorry for the spelling mistake for the job by filling out the form i hope it is visible to you the data is visible to you okay let me show you the message here are the details of the candidate the name of the person the email address of the person the phone the position and please forward this further and handle accordingly okay. all right so this is how now onwards every time someone is going to fill this form the same details will be shared on your google chat space automatically without doing anything so how about i fill this form once again right in front of you and you will see how in real time the same same message will be shared here exactly okay so let me fill this particular form all right so this time the name of the person is demo user the email address is disk@papletutes.com the phone number is 92222 and the position he is applying for the developer clicking on submit and let me go back to the chat space and here i will wait for the message and here you can see the new message has been arrived okay and this time the same person details has been shared exactly okay so i hope it is clear to you that how you can create this automation with the help of pabli connect and let me tell you one thing you just need to create this automation inside pabli connect to once and after that sit back and relax simply close pabli connect because pabli connect will take care of all the task in the back end you do not have to do anything manually just in case if you want to access this automation i will also attach the workflow link into my description box simply click on this link and sign up into the pabli connect and the same workflow will be cloned into your pabli connect account that to for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video